All right, so far, what I've done, got the side and stuff sealed off. That covered, the door handles covered. Uh, got that covered, go around the back. Got that ready to be painted. Last thing I gotta do is put the paper on the windows, do the wheels, um, and I'll be done with that part and we're gonna start sanding after that. So we're gonna finish and that way we can continue with this project. All right, last thing to put on the front is the, uh, let's put the clear plastic over it. Um, once I get the clear plastic on, I am going to start the painting. Here we go, let's look at it. All right, I got it masked off. Completely time to do these wheels, the roof, and the front grill. So let's get this done. This side I did kind of good, but this side over here, I did horrible on this side, but it's okay. It's covered. It's covered, so that's all that matters. So let's get it done. Got the paint right there. About to get it done. <laughs> I think I'm call it a night. Pick up where I left off in the morning. Got the team in the morning. All right, right here. I'm just gonna add the first layer of the uh, the primer on there. The wind was my worst enemy today on that day, so I'm just gonna add the first layer. Just make sure it's even across, no heavy coats or nothing like that. Especially fighting with the wind. All right, we got the first layer on for the grill. We're using a um, Rust-Oleum Automotive Primer. Let that sit and dry. Next, we're gonna head to these dough panels. I mean, don't have So far what we got, we got the side pillar, got them 
with um, two coats, two and a half coats of primer right now. Do a handle got primer on it. Haven't done the roof part yet. Still waiting to do that. On the grill, we got about two coats of primer. Still fighting this wind out here. Getting ready to do the roof. As you can see, on this side, we about three coats in. Over here, excuse the mask and all this, this it's been a house I'm trying to fight with this wind, but getting ready to do this roof now. Trying to fight through it. You gotta get down. I'm gonna move the car in a little bit different angle. Try to keep the wind off of it, but let's get ready to spray. So this rustoleum clear on the light there so uh let's get it popping <laughs> The finished product y'all she looking nasty right now one of the cleanest ultimates you're gonna see out there i'm telling you all the work the paint everything done by yours truly by me it's not perfect it's not the best but i am gonna say I did a daggone good job, dude. Real good job. So if y'all like it, um, get y'all up close. I wanted to get down some good light at night, just so y'all can see it. But yeah, overall, man, it came out real good. Let's start off what I did in the front. Painted the grill. Painted that black. 
looks so good with the custom front I did. And then right here on the side markers, I did that. Did the wheel. Give you a close look on everything. Did the wheels, even painted that black. Even did the top. It's a little frosty out here right now. But I do need to paint correct the top and then come out the bends. I did the side piece right here. And did the door handles, the rear wheel. I said I got some spots that need to be corrected. A little touch up like right here. Then you go around, got the tail light. This is what I mean about the floating lights. As you can see, it floats down with the, the color. Everything look good. I even got back here. Then I did, uh, I gotta go redo the, uh, the emblem. But um, yeah, overall, everything look good. Looks good on my watch. Painted the wheel, everything on here. Yeah, y'all trying, trying to give y'all a good up close look. Spent under a hundred dollars to do all this. So, with that being said, with it being under a hundred, I can't complain at all. So, looking good. Thank y'all for watching. It's your boy, Country Boy Mod. Now, my here did it all myself. So, we're gonna go from there. Peace out.